So here we have a 7,000 watt Kubota diesel generator made by Multiquip. That's auto start that we've put together. It's got the 20 foot cord on it for the extension. It's plugged into the system right now. Uh, it's in the auto start mode, so it's gonna start all by itself. Underneath of it is a 60 gallon diesel tank to let it run for long periods of time. Here's the, an XW 6000 watt inverter, power a house. And just for uh, temporary purposes right now, the batteries are on the floor and they're plugged into it. So I have Rolls Surrett S550s. Here's a 5000 watt load we can put on it. So I'll just turn that on. So I have the generator set to start. It should probably start in about 30 seconds because the batteries are drooping quite a bit. I've been doing things so the batteries are low. So if we go exit, go up one, uh, stop trigger, this should switch here pretty soon. So wait about 15 seconds, see that the batteries are low, and then should get ready to start. There's the auto start there that we put together. So there, fuel pumps on, glow pumps are, or glow plugs are on. It's getting ready to start. There's nobody over here. Key is still in the off position. So I have it set to, to uh, warm up for 30 seconds and then start charging. Okay, so it started because DC voltage is low. It says it's running. We're back to start. There's the power from the generator. Load is 5,000 watts. I'm just going to drop that down to 3. Generator's running and it's, the generator's not making or putting any power into the inverter yet. Warms up for about 30 seconds and it'll start doing it. Some other projects we have on the go. seconds is up generators feeding 3,500 watts into it 6,000 watts and my load from the heater is at 3,000 so I'm just going to turn the heater up to 5 so now I'm, pull, I'm pulling 5,000 watts for a heater I'm only charging 2 amps I'm going to shut the heater off so the heater's turned off my load has gone down to 80 watts and the charging went way up. That's uh, gen support. So I'm going to take and turn the heater back on to 5,000. There you go. They all work together. Okay, I'm going to turn the heater off. And I'm going to turn the heater on. Heater off. Heater on. So yeah, you can see that the generator is working together with it. Now just for purposes right now, I'm going to show you what I have the settings at. So it's charging 58 amps of the batteries at 54 volts, and I'm only pulling 100 watts. The heater's turned off. So I'm going to go into the AGS, Automatic Gen Start. Go into the Automatic Gen Start, go Advanced Settings. Go down, Configure Trigger. So I have it set to start at 50 volts just for now. If you were off grid, we'd probably bring that down to 46. These other voltages, I left them quite high just for purposes right now. When I go down, I have it set to shut the generator off at 55 volts. And that's only for information purposes for right now. So as soon as it gets up to 55 volts, which is coming up pretty soon, the generator's gonna get ready to shut off. Okay, so 54.8 coming up if this was a lithium it would take a long time lithium are so strong and they charge so nice so 
to 54.9 we're getting ready so it'll take in uh, there we go 55 it's gonna hold there just for a bit it should bounce just there we go so the generator went into cool down mode so it did reach 55 volts charging it's in cool down mode it'll run for 30 seconds just to cool the engine down and then shut off if I had this set up on an off-grid person I'd probably let it cool down for one or two minutes and my warm up warm up would be a minimum three minutes uh, sometimes even five minutes if it's cold outside if it's in a heated building I'd give it one or two minutes there you go it shut off nice little whisper watt the Kubota diesel generator in it the diesel generator in these or sorry the diesel engine it's just a little two-cylinder you can see it there little two-cylinder fuel tank in the top and then that big fuel tank there in the bottom so anyways CBI solar brought to you by uh, Schneider inverters and off-grid equipment rolls Surrett batteries have a good day